Romans is one of those places where if we're not careful we'll still miss the gospel even though it's all over every page again I say it's one of those places where if we're not careful we'll still miss the gospel even though it's on every page because oftentimes we 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 get confused there are there are two things that that we do whereby we miss the gospel we don't know what the gospel is and we talked about that on last week what the gospel is and if we don't know what the gospel is uh, then we, we think only those places where we're talking directly about um, salvation or conversion or justification proper only then are we really dealing with the gospel only then does that have anything to do with the gospel and we dealt with that as I said on last week but there's another way that we miss the gospel especially in an epistle like this what happens is the writer gives us or lays for us the the foundation of the gospel and goes on to give us numerous implications that are based upon the foundation of the gospel that he has already laid but if we then treat those implications or those imperatives in isolation from the gospel then all of a sudden we begin to negate the gospel itself because there is a difference between what the gospel requires and what the gospel produces the response that that proclamation requires is repentance and faith and that's all that's what the gospel requires now what the gospel produces is fruit and obedience that's what the gospel produces so how do we mix these up well if we go to those places where the author is talking about what the gospel produces and treat them as though they're what the gospel requires we have just added something to the gospel so we 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 go and, and we read something in, in the scriptures and we read something in the new testament and 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 it says to us by this will all men know that you're my disciples for example that you have love one for another we ought to love one another now is that something the gospel requires or is it something that the gospel produces that's something that the gospel produces